Honey, when I tell you it's not looking good, but I just want to say, hey, how everybody is doing? Welcome back to the Messy Sweet Spot. So they are telling me that Tyler Perry is under investigation, honey. They are telling me that Tyler Perry, um, they're about to put a documentary out on him. I got this story from Storm Monroe. You guys know he's a big credible YouTuber out here. He has broken so many stories and he has this exclusively. Not only that, it's been so many different people that have said the same thing. We've heard from actors like Christian Keys. He came out last year uh, stating a few uh, of the gay black mafia but he never mentioned names Storm Monroe conform confirms that he's talking about Tyler Perry and I don't know if you guys know but Tyler Perry and Steve Harvey they're very close friends okay let's not forget that Tyler Perry sold his house to Steve Harvey okay for like 15 million dollars and did you guys know this that Tyler Perry just put up another house for sale now they are saying that a lot of a lot of things okay allegedly took down took place at that house so that's why he is trying to sell it to get rid of everything because he don't want another Diddy situation you know so a lot of people are still concerned about Tyler Perry's son because it's like where's this son at you know it's so much mysteries when it comes to Tyler Perry but I have a couple of videos here that I want to share with you guys and how I'm sorry to tell you I don't even know how to tell you this, but they are saying Tyler Perry is connected to Diddy. And it's interesting because all of these guys, they're connected to each other. Um, the Diddy, the Steve Harvey, the T.D. Jakes, um, Tyler Perry, Jay-Z, they all are connected to each other. And Storm says it's a part of the gay mafia. Honey, I'm going to play this video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe here at the Missy Sweet Spot. Let's get the likes up. Make sure you guys cash out, you know, show your girl some love. Let me know I'm doing a great job. And uh, let's see what Storm has to say. And I might stop and go. Okay, let's hear. Talk about Tyler. We got to talk about Christian Keys. Diddy's involved as well because Diddy's everywhere. And on top of all of that, you know, Shout out to Claudia Jordan. She's mentioned too. All right, I have exclusive information that there is a surviving Tyler Perry documentary that is currently being filmed. All right, um, there are several accusers, allegers, um, all male. <laughs> well, let's say at least they were born male. Um, it's going to include many different. It's going to be. Former em former employees that are included. This documentary is going to even be bigger than Surviving Diddy. Okay. Um, no, not first matter, but when I first started talking to Roseanne, the actress, the comedian, I want to say that was 2021. She told me even back then to be very careful of the gay mafia. She told me that the gay mafia in this industry was a very real thing. She said there's a gay mafia on the white side and there's also a gay mafia on the black side. And I said, well, damn, it's like that. Y'all ain't inclusive. She said, no, the industry is very segregated, very separated. I said, okay. And then Roseanne also said something about, but I said, who's in the black gay mafia? And she said, Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels, and Oprah Winfrey. And she said, "You, if you don't play their game, which is engaging in the gay games, you basically don't get far, <laughs> okay? And they'll sabotage you. Tyler Perry is currently trying to shut the documentary down. He said the man, which, which I now can't confirm was Tyler, came to Christian's house and said, I gave you $100,000 just to strip naked. I just want to see you naked. I just want to see your body. Okay, let's keep playing. But being that I wasn't working with him and we were in my apartment, he had visited my apartment to offer me a job up this fall because the lead of this particular project was going to do something else. So he needed another lead. I recorded it because I didn't trust him. And I had told him over and over. 
and he still always tried shit. Just tried shit. So if people don't believe me, they can hear him in his voice. I have always kept something on me. I can the recordings, right? Oh. And press play and you can hear the person and you'll know immediately who the person is that's offering me a hundred grand to strip. So so I, we, we can go ahead and confirm that was Tyler. I think we knew that then. I don't really think he had to say, but we definitely can go ahead and just go ahead and confirm that now, according to my source. Yes, I said, hold on, we're going to get to it. All right. So speaking of recordings, when it comes to this documentary that's coming out, Surviving Tyler Perry, there are so many secret recordings that are going to be exposed. Your head, you, 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 your, your head is just going to, you, you ain't even going to be able to take it. The streets are saying that Tyler Perry is being set up to take the fall after Diddy, and multiple people are claiming that Tyler Perry allegedly knew one or two things about Diddy's activities. For those who don't know, Tyler and Diddy have been rumored to have some sort of weird friendship, which isn't all that crazy to think about because they are both two of the very few black billionaires in Hollywood. Well, word on the streets is that the feds allegedly questioned Tyler Perry about Diddy's business. It seems like they believe there might be some shady business between these two men that we don't know about. Whatever it is, it seems to be something really spicy because rumor has it that Tyler is in a hot panic after the feds spoke to him. So what exactly is Tyler hiding about Diddy? And is Tyler really as bad as Diddy is? Let's break this down. Okay, so when people talk about how Tyler could be a shady character, most of the time they're talking about the nasty business with Monique and how he and Oprah went out of their way to blackball her because she didn't want to be their puppet. But there's more to the story than that because more to the story than that because people are now side-eyeing his relationship with Oprah and wondering if it went deeper than their mutual love of blackballing their fellow black artists. See, Oprah has been linked to some pretty shady men, including Harvey Weinstein, a Brazilian self-proclaimed faith healer named John of God, who turned out to be a major creep, Diddy, R. Kelly, and a lot more other shady characters. Oprah seems to love hanging out with the creeps. So now, Every man who has been linked to her gets an automatic side eye from fans. And let me tell you, people are side eyeing Tyler Perry hard. But that's not all, because last year, there was a lot of speculation that he could have allegedly s aid actor Christian Keys. Last December, Christian hopped on Instagram Live for the first time to talk about some shady stuff that allegedly went down between him and a Hollywood billionaire. Christian's been in the entertainment industry for a minute and has some solid connections. He claimed this all went down about 15 years ago and the billionaire made some unwanted moves on him. Christian was able to shut it down, but the guy kept putting him in uncomfortable situations after that. And before anyone thinks this is for a quick buck, Christian made it clear he wasn't planning to sue. He just wanted to let fans know who this person really is. This industry is something else. And some of the people that you think are your mentors are literally and figuratively just trying to f you. I was the one that was f for years, years, intimidated and f for years. And I'm gonna be painted as the villain because y'all have deified this person. Christian also made another shocking revelation saying that at one point, the billionaire got him drunk at a party and tried to SA him when he was just trying to sleep it off. When Christian told him off and tried to leave, the billionaire in question allegedly grabbed him inappropriately. You get a grown man that knows that you're heterosexual and you're sleeping off Hennessy in his guest room because he says it's safe. And this dude tries to climb into bed with you. So you spaz out, push him out, like what the f Get ready to leave, he apologizes, blame it on the alcohol. And you try to forgive him. So you're like, all right, man. All right, I'm gone. You shake his hand on the way out and he tries to grab your boots. He tries to shake and grab your equipment and you spaz even more. I'm like, what the f you doing, man? What the f What the f Oh, my bad, my bad, my So you go to leave, he tries to do it again. Now, at that point, my only regret is not breaking multiple bones in this person's face. And that's not all. Christian also claimed that this man once found a way to get into his apartment 
then casually offered him $100,000 just to strip. He didn't even want to hook up or do anything physical. He just wanted to sit there and watch while Christian took his clothes off. That he showed up to my apartment and offered me a hundred grand to take my clothes off me. He said, I don't even need to touch you. I just want to see you make it. Child, the industry is wild. Christian didn't name any names, but he gave fans some pretty juicy clues that had them speculating between two big names, Diddy and Tyler Perry. He mentioned that the man is a billionaire, and since there aren't too many black billionaires in Hollywood, fans quickly narrowed it down. Christian also added that this person is super generous to the black community, regularly donating large sums of money. That clue kind of took Diddy out of the running because, let's be real, Diddy's not exactly known for his generosity. In fact, many of his artists have complained about not getting paid, so generous isn't a word many would use for him. This left Tyler Perry as the main suspect. Back when the alleged incident happened, Christian was working on Medea Goes to Jail with Tyler Perry, which lines up for the timeline. Plus, Tyler is well known for his philanthropy, especially when it comes to giving back to the black community. So naturally, the fans started putting two and two together and we were kind of getting four. Now, Christian claimed that he has some strong evidence to back his claims, was carrying a secret recording device during some of the times when he met with the billionaire. So he has some incriminating information. I've kept one of these on me since 05. Um, whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen, because most predators would check your phone and once the started I was like well I need to I, I gotta protect me because I'm saying no and I don't want this person as powerful as they are to try to get in the way of my work so I started recording so I have them offering me money to take my clothes off. I have recordings when I wasn't working with them or for them. Um, I have recordings of them confessing that, you know, the other guys that they have on the payroll. When he made the claims, many people accused him of lying to gain clout and get a payday. However, some people revealed that he was telling the truth because he told them about the alleged incidents that happened back in 2008. For example, Claudia Jordan wrote, You shared a piece of this with me when we first met, maybe 15 years ago, and said one day you would come forward, and you did. And Christian Keys, I am so proud of you. Do not beat yourself up for waiting. It's hard, especially as a man. I know it's scary and embarrassing and uncharted territory, but you did it. I will stand with you in this as your friend because I know it's true because this is the same vibe and tone and story you shared from 2008, I believe. She continued, congratulations to you for not going along to get along and being able to look at yourself in the mirror as you shave in the morning. Other men and women will be saved and feel heard because of your bravery. Love your friend. As much as Tyler is one of the biggest philanthropists around, there have been rumors in the past about how he is allegedly on the DL and likes to mess around with younger artists. On top of that, there's been talk on the streets about how he is supposedly a Hollywood handler, helping the elite recruit young black people for some shady activity. But that's not all, because actor Alfonso Ribeiro also hinted that Tyler allegedly did some shady stuff to him back in the day. Alfonso Ribeiro has been in the game for a hot minute now. While most people know him as Carlton Banks from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he was acting long before that. He started as a child actor and had already been in six productions before landing his role on Fresh Prince. Even though the show made him super popular, Alfonso feels like it had a bit of a downside. It led to him being typecast. Sure, he's had a solid career since then, but he believes things could have been even bigger for him if people didn't always see him as Carlton. When people run up to me saying, Carlton, and the name creates pain. Imagine for a second, you did something. People loved it. And it ends and they tell you that thing that you were so great at, you'll never be able to do it again no longer allowed to act because you did that one so well that we can't see you as something else. I'm not gonna lie, it makes a lot of sense because fans still refer to him as Carlton from Fresh Prince. We all expected him to have blown up since then and be on Will Smith's level, but unfortunately it didn't play out that way for him. But even with that, he's still loved by fans and they have been trying to figure out 
how to help him. Someone tweeted, Tyler Perry needs to revamp Alfonso Ribeiro's career. I just know he could. But Alfonso rejected the offer before Tyler could have even made this. And he said, I don't need or ever want that man to do anything for me. The funny thing is, Alfonso isn't even active on Twitter like that. So the fact that he deliberately came out to shut this down says a lot about how much he does not want to be linked with Tyler Perry. Now, some fans thought he was being a bit rude, saying he's in a tight spot and could use a career revival. But others totally get why he'd want to distance himself. Tyler Perry is no stranger to controversy and being associated with him could come with all kinds of drama. But that's not all. Tyler also almost went into business with Diddy. A while ago, it was reported that Diddy and Tyler were both in talks to buy BET Network, and there were even some reports that they might be co-owners of the network together. However, there are also reports that Tyler might have been present at Diddy's parties. If he was, he has gone to great extents to keep it private and low-key, but if the feds are really questioning him like the streets are saying, y'all best believe that they have some sort of dirt on him. Fans are shocked by this and they commented, now I get why Tyler Perry always promotes movies that say that women can only expect bad behavior from men. He was actually telling us how he and his fellow partners in crime see women. That guy's movies became uncomfortable for me to watch where black women are treated like trash and black men labeled to be bad. The only reason I understand why Alfonso Ribeiro, Carlton Banks, would say this is because he is very familiar with information concerning Tyler Perry business practices that may put men in intimately compromised positions. And I wonder if Tyler is the high profile person on the video being shopped around Hollywood. Yeah, this is a hot mess, but y'all let me know what you think about Tyler Perry being outed like this, and then check out this next video. Girl, uh, Earl, it is a lot to say about all this. I need to hear what you guys think about this. I am heartbroken. You know, this is my community. This is the black community and they're doing diabolical things like this, taking people back doors. Um, just, and I, I've always wondered because a lot of times when I watch movies and TV shows now, I'm like, man, you know, where is the talent? You know, these people can't act. These people can't sing where is the talent and it seems like they are replacing people in those spots with people that do freak off and people that it's a part of the gay mafia they are saying you got to get down and get stuck in order to get this role but they're not really giving it to the best person they're not giving out to the talented people because they can't stick them and you can see it do you guys notice that in the black uh, media how the standard and the value of black actors and black artists is not there these people can't sing they can't act they may look good but that's about it and they are saying because of the gay mafia like tyler and the rest of them they are uh prostituting uh these roles and I can't say much, but um, I'm going to let you guys go. I want you guys to comment. Let us know what you guys think about this. And I'll see you guys on another video. Bye.